Oh, yeah! I made it inside! And then I died immediately by a fish! Uh, okay. Guess we're going. And I guess we're dying, which is, I guess, what I'm gonna be doing today. I really don't like how close that's cutting it, man. I don't need a shape. Oh my god, oh no! Crushed by the level. That's a new one. I'm sorry. Am I the idiot here? What's happening? Something tells me that that is not what I was supposed to do. Look at that. Triple jump gets you all the way over it. Triple jump is actually useful for once. Oh no. My anus. It's very painful to hear this music that I hold so very dear to my heart on a level that is frustrating the hell out of me immediately. I don't want anything except for good memories of this music. And now I'm gonna have this imagery in my head every time I think of this song. What am I supposed to do with that? That thing is scary. Am I just supposed to kill it? I'm gonna try to kill it. You gotta be some other kind of twisted to come up with a freaking auto-scroller level. Triple jump, woohoo! And me! Oh no, oh dear, oh no, oh dear. Oh no. How am I supposed to do that jump, man? That may have been a premature jump on my part. Just maybe though. I could probably find someone else to blame if I look hard enough. Oh, he's got a spike on him. Oh, okay, there we go. We just had to finesse it. Oh dear, oh dear! I jumped too soon. Look, I'm not one to shy away from a challenge, all right? So I will be here for an hour, if that's what it takes. Da -da -da. Jump in all over the spikes and I'm dead. Okay, ha! Oh, oh hey, okay, that wasn't too hard. I'm one of the only two idiots that died right there. That's mean, that is rude right there. Ha! I thought maybe I could get over and then the, the wall would push me back. That's not the case though, I just died a horrible death. What is happening to me? No, I bumped my head and then I was plunged into a saw blade. It's only a matter of time. Don't run into the saws, you stupid whale. No, it was so close, but the timing was slightly off and now I'm dead. Please, I need you to not scroll so fast. I know you're an auto-scroller, I know it's your thing. I'm not trying to hamper your thing altogether. Just make it a bit easier for your plumbery boy. Just do it. I don't even care, man. It was my fault. Dude, it's moving too quick, man. It's like Sonic the Hedgehog on speed. Go, Mario, Mario, go. Go! Ah! 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 I jumped too early again in the same spot. Saying it out loud will help me not do it the next time. Go, Mario, go. I believe in you. I no longer believe in you, Mario. You've betrayed my trust. And the saw blades are coming, and I don't care that they're ending my life because I am immortal. I transcend time and death. No! No! It stopped auto-scrolling and everything! Don't worry about me running into that spikes. That was tactical. Finding new ways to die. 30 minutes in. No! Gotta be quicker than that. Mm. Shit! What you bad? Oh, I hate it. You know, I liked it better when I wasn't playing this level, but that isn't what my life is anymore. Give me the wall! Just give me the wall. There's no way. It's too fast for me. Oh yeah, is it a bummer, Mario? Is it a bummer that we died again? Get your shit together. If Mario was sentient, like this was Wreck-It Ralph, I wonder what he'd think of me right now. Okay, 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 and then we jump, and then we wall jump, and then it's all fine and dandy. And then we cry about everything that has gone wrong. Let's turn on some Mario Maker. It'll be a fun time. What a bad thought. I missed the jump button with my thumb, dude. I just want to win. I just want to feel something other than endless pain. Come on, come on, come on! Why? That's the worst part. I'm not patient. I have no patience, man. Game over! Ah! Time out, there's something in my eyeball. Look, I'm pretty sure in the description of the level it says don't stop running, but then he increases the difficulty there by lying to me like a bastard. Huh! There we go, look at that. I was playing the level wrong. Mario Maker, it's a good time. It's, uh, that's not a word. Playing this game does something to me. It does something to the part of my brain that controls English and words and just, it harms it. Ha! Yes, you can't stop me now. Ho! 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 Thundercats! Thundercats! Thundercats, ho! Thundercats! Thundercats, no, dude! No. Oh, 
वाह Why, yar? What? How was that possible? I bumped my head on the blade of saw. Oh no! I, I don't worry about me, guys. I'm okay. How are you? <laughs> don't even trip, guys. Don't even worry. The mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. You need to know that it's on the test. Gently, gently. Ah, Mario. What? Okay, that's all right. We got this. My Microsoft Outlook settings are out of date. I already knew that though because my PC updated. I don't know why I'm telling you guys this. This is not relevant information. Okay, go, 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 go. Yeah, Mario. Oh no! I don't think I was. Uh, I don't know what I did wrong. I got born 10, 21 years ago. Probably my first mistake. If I had to listen to this song and repeat, I'm glad it's this. Run, jump, spin. Run, jump, spin, jump, spin, jump, spin, die. If you could see the look on my face right now, you'd see a burning intensity, the likes of which this earth has never seen before. Gently now, child. Am I supposed to be spinning? No big deal for me. I can survive this, no problem. Uh, pow block to kill that guy. Uh, pow block, pow block. Sweet. And you gotta grab the pow block. Grab second, pow block. I missed! It flew over his head! Once upon a time, I was traveling with my family. We were on a bike ride, and my brother didn't see that there was a parked car in front of him, and he ran into it. So I laughed at him for not paying attention, and then when we got home, I wasn't paying attention when I walked into the house, and we had a sliding glass door, and I smacked right into it. Please! Yes! Okay, we're on new territory. That's a true story, by the way. What? Oh God! What? Okay. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. We're not even gonna mess with whatever's in that block. Yes! Gamer was here. Just to let the people know that I've completed the level. <laughs> Each one of those is a person. Oh dear. Oh no, that's a lot of bullet bills. Ooh, missed it by that much. Did that piranha plant just read me? You got the reeds on me. Okay, 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 okay. There's a little jumpy box right there that I need to get into. Here we go. You know, that's a really mean place to put that box in between all those spiky spikies. Try to hit me, you can't. I'm like Neo, you can't hit me. Later, suckers. Oh man, I died. Can you believe it? I can. I love that people point out all the time in the comments when I'm Luigi in 3D World that he says ho like every couple of seconds. Be it running, jumping, or throwing stuff, that's just Luigi's favorite word. I was 90% positive that I ground pounded on him and didn't just jump on him. Therefore, his offspring shouldn't have spawned and taken my life. With speed on my side, I cannot fail. I don't think that, that is okay. I disagree. Go, Luigi, go. Go, no. I promise I did a ground pound. His babies should have been taken out with him. Look, if Final Destination has taught me anything, it's that death is unavoidable and it's not my fault. This is the sort of thing Karen takes the kids over. Don't be fooled by my bravado. I'm losing my mind. I'm Vega from Street Fighter. Yo! Oh my god, move, you freaking Goomba! Why is it there? It takes so long. It's so stupid. You gotta wait. You gotta wait for him to turn around. You gotta wait to kill him. There is so much waiting in Ocarina. Great, now I'm trapped. Take me out. See if I even care. It won't change the fact that you don't have any arms. Here's the jump. Here's the jump that nobody can do. I'm gonna get rid of this spring entirely. I'm gonna forego the spring. I've never died right there. Neither has anyone else, because how do you die right there? What is even after that? Most of the deaths are right here. Did people just get fed up right here and go, nope, not doing it? Come on! Get in the cube! I think I've really lost it. I've begun to just start making link sounds whenever I die. Shot! Kind of like that. Springo, Sprango, Oingo, Boingo, Chingo, Chungo. Help! That jump needs to go die in several fires. Reach the goal without taking damage. No problem. Okay, Luigi, it's been rough. It's been a strain on us, mentally speaking, but there's nothing that we can't handle together. 
I forgot to throw the spring. Pray for me, Stuart Little. Didn't realize that the lava level was rising. I didn't even know. I didn't know about that. That's a new mechanic. It's fun. Surprise, you're dead. Armed with new knowledge about the level, we will still die to the same jump, even though it looks like we should have gone inside of the cube. Leave me be, gigantic Goomba. Patience is a harness. I have harnessed the harness. Ha! All right, here comes the jump that I know I won't be able to do. Intriguing. Interesting. Fun. Quality. These are all words that don't describe that jump. I'm gonna find your family, you stupid Goomba, and I'm gonna kill them. Hey, a Goomba man. Goomba man, I'm gonna need you to slide out of the way. Soon there won't be anything left. Emotionally speaking, I mean, I'll just be gone. A physical husk left to remind you that there once was a man, and now there's only pain. How will I die this time? Find out very soon. If you guessed on the jump that no man has ever completed successfully, then you win. Cannons don't mind me. I'm dying for forgetting to throw a spring. Okay, see, look, sometimes they just shoot wherever. They're supposed to shoot where you were, but I wasn't I wasn't where he shot. He shot at the ground in front of him, and I've never been there. Riddle me that, Batman. No. Darth Vader. I was so positive I was going to make it. And then I died because that's all I am is a dead person. It's me versus this level. It's me versus this level and this level is winning. Goomba move. I hate it. Go Luigi the lava. The lava Luigi. It's rising. No, you don't want to land on the spring. So what? I'm the lone X right there. Big deal. It just means I have the most heart. Run from it. Destiny still arrives. $60 well spent. What was that? I'm gonna bring a thermonuclear physicist to come in here and tell you exactly why I should not have died right there. Oh, yeah! I made it inside! And then I died immediately by a fish! I don't even know if I want to play anymore. I've been sufficiently broken. Just like Batman! I wish there was a strategy to get past this Goomba that didn't involve waiting. What a coincidence! That's where I wanted to go! It's literally never happened, Bob, but you what? It's okay. I'll never make it in there with the spring. That jump is hard. I'm gonna build a time machine, I'm gonna go back in time, and I'm gonna make it so when you touch Goombas, it doesn't kill you. What is so dangerous about a Goomba? It's a Goomba! It doesn't have arms! That should be in! That should be in! If you could see my face, my face would say to you that that should be in. No, I let the Goomba go. I let the Goomba go and now I'm gonna be trapped here forever. So just end it on my own terms. I'm not okay, man. I'm literally not all right. Oh no, the Goomba got passed, which means I'm not gonna be able to get past myself because he's gonna block it and I did it. I don't know why I'm whining. Oh, the lava, the lava is hot. Hi. The lava is nigh. The end is near. I deny the possibility. I'm getting super hungry and it's making me play worse. Oh, sick. Sick play by Piranha Plant. My mother is calling me and this is not going to be a pleasant conversation because I am going insane. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, I died again. Hello. I'm playing a stupid video game and I'm dying over and 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 over. Are you filming it? Oh yeah. <laughs> you're talking to me on the phone and filming it too? Oh yeah. You're silly. Say hello. Hi. I just about to see how you're doing. I'm doing not good. With the power of the encouragement from my mother, I am positive that I can. Oh, 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 oh! Yeah. Ha! What? It hits me from everywhere. I could be in China and it hit me, dude. I did it! I overcame my fear. Okay, don't let the fish kill you. Oh, hammer bro! Hammer bro? No, I should have held B. I didn't realize the beat blocks were gonna beep and switch, but then they did and now I'm dead and oh, back to the beginning, yay! Yeah! I missed! How did I miss? His head is right there. It's green, it's large. Jump on it, Mario. You're good at that, right? That's part of your name or your original name. I'm not even Mario. What am I talking about? 
No! No! I was too slow. This time I won't be. I won't be too slow. I won't be. Hammer! No! Oh, I slipped. If you had that chance to sleep, would you? Dude, my body's like in the box. You might as well just let me teleport at that point. Yes! What? I need the spring! Are you kidding me? There's no way! That's literally impossible! God damn it! Say psych right now! Say psych right now. This is probably a mistake, but uh... Oh my god, even the music changed. I'm a gamer though, so I think I can handle this. By the way, if it bothers you that I say the word gamer so much, I'm sorry, but I'll probably never stop. It's ingrained in my vocabulary at this point. Wow, they're uh, really not giving me a lot to go off of here, are they? Well, hey, at least I got the coin. I can say that. How do I skip a level? <laughs> this is not gonna happen. I can tell you right now, I won't be completing some of these. It's just not possible. Come on, dude, that is the tightest squeeze I've ever seen in my life. I'm losing lives left and right here. I'm not gonna last very long at this rate. Why do they all have to be under 20 seconds too? Like the pressure's already on. I already don't have that many lives. You're gonna start me off with something like this and then not give me a whole lot of time to do it? All right, that's enough. Okay, this is a good sign. The timer isn't two seconds or whatever. Oh, it jumps. I forgot they jumped, dude. That's stupid. And then there's a lot of spikes down there too. I think I'm gonna have a rule that I'm gonna try the level at least twice, unless it's just complete BS, in which case I won't bother. I don't suppose there's a, a peaceful solution to this, is there? Why can't the path through the forest be filled with good times, huh? Or like, you know, candy? Why does it gotta be saw blades and evil mushrooms? What is this, a Disney film? Oh, I have to survive. Oh, I have to survive. I did not survive. There's so many of them. How am I supposed to avoid them all? Like a pro. That's how I answered my own question and got my first checkpoint of an expert run. Not that I make a lot of levels or anything, but one thing you really want to do if you do make levels is make sure they have focus. This level has no focus. It's all over the place. There it is. That's going to be the Luigi. The last Luigi I'm willing to sacrifice in the forest. If I could just beat one of these levels, I'll be happy. That's all I want is just to complete one. Does it cost me a life to start over? The answer to that is yes. Yeah, this might not be the right challenge for me, man. I don't think I'm good enough at this game for this. That is the first power-up I've seen all run so far. We've got more power-ups. This person actually knows that, you know, Mario's supposed to be about having fun. Thank you for being my platform, ho oh, ho. Oh yeah, that's great. That's great because I definitely knew that that's what was in there. Yeah, that's sick. Sick trap. Watch your mouth, Luigi. The things I do for gaming, man. Look at this, this is tedious. I will say that I'm happy that this is actually a level rather than just a series of BS. Oh my God, that spiny got demolished. <laughs> oh, I love Luigi. Man, this level is enormous. Oh dear God, no, I'm running out of time. I don't wanna have to do this all over. This level is way too long for all that. Well, this is a dead end, which is not a good sign because I'm running out of time. Okay, hurt me, bees. I don't care. I need to be small so I can get in there. Thank you for your service to this earth, bees. Oh, come Luigi, come, come Luigi. Here's the fireball, slipping, dying. Yeah, redoing that whole thing is gonna be a nod for me, dog. What a name for a level. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Definitely no. Not down with that. Oh, Jesus. I suck at jumps like these. See what I mean? Never speak of this to anyone. Oh, busy boy. I'm running short on lives and dying frequently. It's looking like this is gonna be a failed challenge. I mean, like, what kind of a jump is that? That's insane. There's no impossible thing in life. At least that's what they'll tell you. But levels like this just might take the cake. You've gotta be joking me. You've gotta be joking me. The lava's raising and I'm getting out of there. Look, either I have a tiny brain or this is actually just not possible. Do it, I'm not even afraid. I can't see the ground, man, that's so dumb. Oh my God, skip, oh no, I forgot to skip. The dream is about to come to an end, boys. There's no way I'm gonna be able to complete a level. Not looking possible for me. I will say I am making it pretty far and I'm dead. I'm gonna spend my last life on this level. I have a new small goal of getting into this pipe. It's not happening. I'll tell you what I am qualified for, dying over and over on a single stage. Let's see if we can get the first clear on some levels. This doesn't seem so bad, but then again, all they've asked me to do is go through a room and then also kill some Goombas. Man, you squidiots can't kill me. More powerful people than you have tried. I like this. It's like a series of door challenges and you kind of get to see what's coming. This is an easy one though. It's just a bunch of turtles. Oh, okay. Proceeding to keep my dumb mouth shut from now on. The 3D world level styling piranha plant lip hitboxes are one of the greatest lies of all all time. While I will admit I do like the level idea, the actual execution of it is very annoying if you die, even once. Because now you have to do all these things that you already know you can do, but again. 
Oh no, how am I supposed to tell that fire is coming from the ground when there's no signal? Now I gotta do everything again. This is exactly what I was talking about. Repetition is the path to insanity. Yo, what causes all these dorks to get involved? Shooting their little magic sparks at me. This ain't D&D. &D. This is M&M. &M, me going mad. Oh hey, this is a multiplayer level. But I'm playing it by myself. Thanks for reminding me how alone I am. Okay, seriously though, why can't I find a level like this when I play competitive? This is amazing. And I killed myself. It's just like they say, kids, you are your own worst enemy. That's a big boy. Oh, Lord, he coming. Oh, no. Oh, the lava. It's rising. Can I reset that? Can I change my fate? Ouch. I don't know why I stood there for that one. No one ever said I was the smartest tool in the tool shed. Grab a box, you big green idiot. Spare me, bullet Jesus. There's no way. This is too quick. I carumba my head. What? He loses me? Oh, come on. I can't even get back down there. By the way, I don't have any patience. So if you're testing my patience, there's a high chance I'm just going to skip the level. There's way too many things on the screen right now. I don't appreciate it. You're sticking me through the washing machine here, man. You're messing me up. Go easy on a guy. I mean, come on. Like, what even is this? This is a nightmare. There's things everywhere. Everything you could imagine is in this level. Super Mario Maker. Everyone is here to kill Luigi. Oh, do you see this? Do you see the finesse? And by finesse, of course, I mean complete. Lucky coincidences. Yo, that's a big hammer, bro. Whatever, just damage boost. None of this means anything. This is just a whole bunch of nonsense. I can really see that this is going to be an effective use of my time. Doesn't matter if I'm playing versus or by myself. The rule should always apply. Go to the right. Dude, I'm going to have to go back through this. What a waste of time. Look at that. It just leads to a little spawn point for these guys. Don't do it. You did it. No longer invited to my birthday party. I don't make the rules. I just enforce them. Listen, Hammer Bro, I don't care how thick you are, dog. Give them a tribute to hide to bata! What? That's not English? This is a little Temi level. I know a little Temi level when I see a little Temi level, and this is a little Temi level. Crud. Oh, crud! Ah, oh, spikes! They shoot the spikes whenever they feel like it. They just turn around and they say, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna shoot my shot right now. I'm like, okay, you're gonna kill me with your shot, but if you really gotta shoot it, you gotta shoot it. I understand from one, one guy to Spiny Boy. It should be illegal to have that many paratroopers in a row at any one point in time. Breaking news. YouTuber Desbug exposed as not gamer after numerous deaths deaths by Paratroopa and Koopa alike. You'll never get your house back. Let it go. What even killed me, man? Oh my god, there's a spike right there. Where did that come from? I'm sorry. Is there some kind of otherworldly force at work here that wants me to die via fireball? What even was that? Where did that come from? That's it. Just remember, the course does lie to you. That does not instill confidence in me at all. Okay, well, I think that this is a pretty obvious one, right? I gotta get little Luigi in there. Can I even do that? Is that even possible? We're gonna chalk that one up to one of the many lies that this level tells, I guess. Luigi, ready to be birthed by clear pipe. I'm going on a journey, all right? Where that journey will lead me, no one knows. Evidently, the journey's gonna take me to Death's Door. I was a fool for thinking it'd lead me anywhere else. Clear pipes could be in a montage of one of those top 10 satisfying video things. You know the ones I'm talking about, the ones that always get recommended for no good reason. Oh no, apparently that was the wrong answer. But hey, the stage does lie to you, huh? Though I feel that that's less of a lie and more of just, oops, you rolled the dice wrong. Let's try top left this time. Oh great, looks like that was wrong too. I hate this level. This is what I think about whoever made this level. Let Luigi out of this prison, you mortal fool. I really want to be the first clear on this level, but I gotta say I'm not looking forward to being trolled for an hour or whatever it's gonna take me. I do enjoy that the challenge of this level just comes from navigating it. That's kind of rare, right? That is the worst. That's the absolute worst way to design your level. That's complete random chance that I'd ever find that. I'm running out of time, so I'm just gonna have to trust this pipe. Oh, geez. Oh, man. Oh, no. Uh, let's go right. It's what my gut says. God, I knew I would end up here eventually. This level is a crisp cross my gosh of who can and can't you trust i'm not scared though for time comes for us all in the end no no not like that i thought i was just gonna be able to go back through this level really embodies that feeling of of when your mom went to the store and was like hey what do you want and you were like oh some cheese it's would be nice and then she went and came back with cheese nips dude one of the most crushing feelings on planet earth man it sucks knowing the truth is out there and then you're just kept from it because you're in a clear pipe and you you can't do anything about it. Come on, I can definitely get in that, right? That's what he said. I'm convinced there's no way in there. I'm convinced that that's another block leads back there to troll you when you get super far through the level. I don't know, man. Maybe it's not even a level. Maybe there's just like some dev block somewhere that takes you right to the end. That'd be something. Clear pipes might be one of my favorite pointless things in gaming. They don't really change anything. You just 
get from point A to point B, but it feels like you're Batman. I can't look up the answer for help. This level's never been beaten before. Uh, let me check something real quick. That checks out. That is so unbearably close, dude. Let me in, please. Spare me. No. I know. I'll ask my Discord for help. Real quick, I wanted to give a shout out to a guy in my Discord who helped me beat the stupid clear pipe maze level. It actually wasn't stupid. I take that back. It was really fun. So thank you, Demean or Demine. Sorry, I don't know how to say that. I'm just reading it. I was going to show me beating the level, but it was pretty fun. So I'll let you guys just figure it out. And yeah, thank you, Demine or Demean. Oh, come on. I definitely was holding up. There it is. And there it goes. Oh, mouse boy waiting for me how could he do that to me luigi i hope you have good lawyers dude because you are going straight to court there we go there we go made it right every mario maker player thinks they want to encounter one of these levels you know one of the stupid trial and error levels that no one else has beaten so that they could be the first to beat it but no it's just a string of torture you don't want this in your life take it from me crying luigi it's becoming second nature oh it's a piranha creeper i hate those okay 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 assess the situation he's a piranha creeper i'm luigi you just gotta put those right there just to test me don't test me boy i think i was supposed to throw the box in there uh no no Nothing went the way I wanted it to. My plants, my win in a tour, completely sabotaged with nary a Perry the platypus around. Kobe, if I had a dollar for every time Kobe Bryant has let me down, I'd have no money. b rad never lets me down. I'm running out of time, but I can't make that, dude. What the H? Help! Okay, we've made it past Swamp Man. Now it's Mouse Man, who doesn't even concern me anymore. I'm way above him. I don't even need the little grassy safe spot. Why is that even there, man? Keep the challenges coming or get out of my gym. Luigi, now's the time. Sprout your wings and fly. Kill me all you want, you mouse. You'll never graduate college because you're not a person, idiot. Have you ever seen somebody do it as well as me? Like, yeah, I die over and over. Don't get that twisted. But what I do do is die with style. That's right, I said doo-doo. You can subscribe now. Not sure why this is the level. This is the one that's gripped me. I have to see it through to the end. I don't even know if I'm anywhere close to it, but I have to see it through. Whatever it takes. Aw, oh, yeah. Piranha Creeper. Look, if it sounds like I'm just going a little bit insane, don't worry, don't worry, because I am! Oh, yeah, I live. My gamer is showing. Sorry, I'll put that away now. Dude, that's scary. That's so frightening. And I missed the piranha creeper. Creeper, here we go. Luigi time. Luigi time. Let's get it. No, no, I see it. No, it's not going to make it. Why? Why does it have to be this way? You ready for this? This is success coming at you. My b-hole, dude. I'm literally sweating. Like, sweat is actually coming out of my pits. Don't ask which ones. I won't tell you. What a save. But it's not gonna matter. Death is essential. Death is inevitable. Thanos, Thanos, take me now. Here lies Desbug. Mario Maker 2 was too much for him. We just need to get through this puppy as quick as possible. So gosh, can see me through it and I can come out the other side a fine, well-adjusted human being. Feel absolutely free to start your new religions based off of God's cousin, Gosh. I know you'll practice responsibly. God! Okay, okay, we made it. There's no room! There's no room for success! Failures! Yay, I made it! No, get the key! I'm out of time. It doesn't matter at all. We both know how this is gonna end, Father Time. Do it! Box throw, complete, bomb. Don't even need him. Oh! Yo, what kind of metal-ass mutation is a rat with spikes in his back end? Anyway, no, that might be the wasted time that Father Time needs from me in order to kill me. Father Spikes beat him to it. Clean as butter, boy. Butter. I'm telling you. Is clean as butter. I hit him and then I also died. Piranha Creepers. There you go. I, I blew it. I threw it all away. I thought I was already down the pipe. The only thing that was actually down the pipe was my hopes and dreams, dude. I can do this. I can do this. I've never met a Mario Maker 2 level I couldn't beat except all those ones earlier in this video, but I don't care about that. This is a brand new level. 
Say psych right now. Say psych right now. Okay, 20 seconds left on the clock. We can do it. We can do it. Just don't get impaled and then land on the guy. Yes. Yes, that. No, come on. Grab the key. Oh, no. Begging you, please say I have enough time. It's so mean. Otherwise, I think I'm good. We're good, brother. Yeah. Two seconds left. Eat it. Eat my Luigi dominance. I got it. I did it. I'm the first person to beat that level and I got the world record, man. That feels freaking good. I like how that feels. It makes me feel like a gamer. <laughs> Subscribe. Thank you. Gotta say it makes me a little bit uncomfortable that everything has gotten so quiet. Please, please, I want to survive! Today, my only goal is to be the first person to clear some levels. I'm only gonna be playing... You know what? Doesn't matter what mode of this game I play. Those levels never get better. Okay, we have a lot going on. There's a lot to unpack here. I'm not quite sure what the cause of my death was. It could be determined someday. This is not even a level. This is just things. It's like somebody fell asleep on this Nintendo Switch and uh, buttons started getting pressed. You know, when I set out today, I just wanted to have the first clear on some levels, but it's come to my attention that it's very hard to do so when you don't know how many clears a level has. And while you might click on it and it'll say zero, by the time you finish it, it might have a few clears. So just keep in mind that I'm only gonna be playing levels with uh, no clears. And yeah, that's all I really wanted to say. Okay, we got a pro level, I'm a pro. I think I can handle this. You know, I think by pro, it really meant troll. I can't help but feel like I'm set up for failure. No, 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 don't give up. I can do it, or maybe not, but we can give it a try. All right, I've given it a try. It's run its course. We're moving on. Oh, I hate these little enemies, dude. They're dangerous. No, please. Dang it. This is very similar to one of the sample courses. I've actually seen it many times before, and I noticed that when I miss those things, you guys really like to point it out in the comments. And and let me let me tell you, I just I don't know all the sample levels, okay? I'm just a basic boy. There we go. See, that's all I really wanted. Some first clears and some world records. They make a man feel good. Go, Thwompy boy. Thwompy general. Smush all the naysayers. Oh, they're flying. These mad lads are flying. It's like a Beyblade. When you're looking for it, you can uh, really find some weird things out there in Mario Maker land. Wow, no way, man. Can't believe I made it on that one. That's crazy. All right, we got a big number one. That's where we're going. You got me. Good haha -ha, funny prank. You really got me there. It's just telling me which one to go in, but it's not always true. It said four right there, but how would four mean the second one in any way, shape, or form? See right here, it says one, but it really means three if you're counting from the left, like most people, which would mean that two is the middle one, which makes enough sense. Following that logic, we can assume the number three is actually the number one, and it's correct. But then you get to this one, and it just says four, and there's four, like which area am I going from? And it's wrong anyway. How is that four right there? Okay, now it says five. I don't know what five is referring to. I'm gonna hope it's this one. That's what I'm going with. I was wrong. It's actually that one. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. But hear me out. It's for funnies. And you can't say anything about it if it's for comedy. That's completely different, right? I'm not insane. We come to part 12 of the guessing game. And we've guessed wrong again, which means to the start. It's like those little Simon machines, except terrible. My biggest fear at this point is that I'll forget the order, like three in, which if I'm being honest with you guys, has already happened. There's literally no clue. It's just a guessing game. I mean, this one's not even a guess. It just has the answer right there for you. This is, this is so oh, whack. I'm guessing. Oh, I cheated that one. I got a little peek seat. Oh, this one's too far down to do it. And I'm running out of time, man. I don't know. I don't know which one to pick. I guess this one. No, it was the middle one. Son of a Borg. I am going slightly, slightly insane now. This is better. Be the first clear. Yeah. Or I will scream at the top of my 
the top of my lungs that's right. I will scream loudly. I forgot! The way I see it, you either die, Luigi, or you live long enough to watch yourself become Toad. I believe it's Star Starland. Oh, shoot. I forgot again. I'm so deep in to forget. Okay, whatever. Dang it! It's the middle! It's so hard to remember the middle. The middle is the Yoshi. Ordinarily, I would have given up on this level a long time ago, but I mean, what's the point of that? There's no way anybody else has put up with this level for as long as you've had to in order to complete it, so I'm guaranteed to have the first completion, bro. You know, you gotta get your freebie on there. It's like when you're taking a test and one of the answers is like, what's your name? So like, yeah, I know that. Middle, I got bamboozled again. I don't have any more excuses. I'm just too invested. I have to beat it. I have no other option at this point. A gamer's pride is on the line here. Okay, it's the Yoshi. This time we've got it. We've remembered it. We won't go out like a chump again. And there's more. Great. Uh, we're gonna guess last one. That's just dishonest, man. You can't have me get the right option and then kill me with flames. All right, it's the last one, but we gotta hurry up because there's gonna be some fire coming at us and we wouldn't want to experience any of that. But wait, there's more. And it's gonna be another guessing game because I can't tell. Let's go with this one because the shell's upside down. What a read, I'm a genius. And my nightmare has ended. <laughs> That sounded more like a mild inconvenience rather than somebody who was about to fall into an eternal pit of lava. Didn't realize defeating the lava bubbles was a thing that really people did. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die apparently. Okay, neat, now I got the hammer so I have to go back and like do some murdering. I'm not quite sure that there's anybody on the planet who would be able to mess a jump like that up. Come on, man, give me a break. Just try and kill the lava bubble. I don't need it to be super complicated. Are you kidding me? I bonked on the edge of that crate. Why did I even try to long jump? This is actually a very... Don't do that to me when I'm about to compliment you. That's too close. I don't want to get burned. I experienced more than enough of that in high school. Ooh, a frame perfect. I murdered him perfectly. Really? Is this what it's come to? I'm essentially spawn camping fire. 1-3, tight jumping. Pretty tight. That being said, the whole you can't touch the ground after leaving the ground might be the single worst clear condition in Mario. Like, what an unnatural type of thing. It can create some pretty cool ideas, but for the most part, it's just a pain in the ass. Luigi's not affected by this, though. He just stares the wall in the face. All right, I have to play that one. I can't ignore it. I said, oh, sweet Lord, baby Jesus, it's a fire. Hello? What, 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 what was that? How am I supposed to get over that huge gap? What is this level? I'm sorry, what is happening? What is this Goomba like instant transmissioning his way every year all over the place? What is this? Is this some sort of mechanic I've not seen before? I'm so confused. And I killed it. What is this level, dude? I see no way to complete this level. And the Goomba's invisible! It just kills you if you don't know where it is. What? What is happening? I'm basically just more confused than I've ever been in my entire life. And that's saying something. Uh, invisible Goomba pal, where are you? Oh my god, he's, he's close! Dude, he's like the predator. I don't really comprehend what's going on here. But I don't think I can defeat it. So I'm just gonna see myself out. <laughs> the description I didn't notice is, oh god, oh, you know, I've seen me make it out of these, so I don't want to call it just yet, but I gotta say, this feels like a death trap. Oh, but look at that, I made it out of those. What did I tell you? Oh, silly pom-pom. You think you've mastered the dark arts? You merely adopted the ninja arts, sister. Uh, what are you doing coming in swooping in like a dork? This will be a battle of kitties. Get scratched, bro. Don't worry about it. So am I. It really do be like that sometimes, doesn't it? I don't understand why you'd make a level like that. Hey, I guess when, uh, you bad, things happen. Arg, matey! A truly good trap indeed. No, come back! Come back! I needed you! That was a direct quote from when my dad left my family. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say that maybe I chose the wrong path? Gotta say, this is definitely the biggest softlock level I've seen in quite some time. Each one of these paths really just leads to its own little trap, doesn't it? That is spectacular. F is for freaking trapping your friends in unfair situations. U is for, mm, let me go. N is for, nope. I don't want to play this level. 
think you can fool me again. I'm not going through those spikes. The level of tomfoolery and trickery is a little bit out of control. I don't know who to trust or where to go. With the power of trial and error on my side, I now know to hurdle myself through the spikes. And it was an elaborate trap. Hilarious. You gotta be kidding me, man. A ghost cannon? I'm not Danny Fenden. I wasn't 14. I didn't step into a very strange machine. And it wasn't designed to view a world unseen, man. Dude, it shoots him out so far. How am I supposed to avoid that? Don't! Oh, come on, brother. That's not very nice. I don't know what to do. Oh, come on! That scared me! That was just a test to see if it would fire, even if I was looking at it. Go, 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 go! Oh! He got me. Somebody help me right now. I just want to have fun. But this level won't allow me to. We gotta hit it one, two, three, four, five, six times and then dive. One, two, three. Am I a joke to you, boo? Time to wait some more. Waiting is good and fun. Especially when it's in a game. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh! Oh, I just found out a secret! I just found out a secret through my own failure. This is what they mean when they say every failure is a learning opportunity, boys. How did I not see before? The level's filled with trickery anyway. I'm begging you not to be another trap, man. Wow, it was as simple as that! I wasted so much time trying to calculate block distance and cannon firing speed. That feels really good. Oh, man. I lost a world record already. Oh man, I lost another world record. Why is it gotta go down that way? We'll see about that. Gotta tell you, so far it's not feeling so impossible. Gotta tell you, it's actually very possible. In fact, it's so possible, I completed it 10 times harder than I actually needed to. Killed a turtle, took its home. I don't feel bad at all. Man, nice try. You want to put all this random junk all on the screen? You think I care? Think it affects me? Because it most certainly doesn't. Except for the time where it crushes my skull, along with every other fiber of my being. The best part about that was that it happened right in front of the flagpole. That really makes me feel quite special. I can already tell you there's way too many paths in this level. I don't know how I'm supposed to know where I'm supposed to be going. When in doubt, go to the right though, I suppose. And would you look at that? That strategy works even when I'm not playing versus. You're just getting outplayed, my friend. Like, there's nothing you can do right here. I got your number. You're stuck and I'm better than you. Nice, wouldn't have it any other way. This level is called Game Serious. I don't know if that's a command or a comment about the game. I like the way it sounds regardless. Dude, imagine being killed by your own house. What a way to go. Hammer Mario might be my favorite power-up. It's just so versatile. I love the fact that you can make your own blocks and break a certain type of block with it. I find it really fun. And it looks cool too. Camera moment. Epic gamer moment. Like, see, it wants me to go through this dangerous icicle thing, but instead of that, why don't I just build myself a little tower and then break it by accident? Just kidding. What I really meant was build myself a tower and then break on through to the other side. Creative problem solving. Probably one of the best aspects of a platformer can have, and this game nails it with this power-up. Despite all my efforts, I still got hit, but we won't talk about that. In in it in style. Got him. I love Luigi's disaffected scowl as he watches the results of his direct actions. Luigi pile driver. It's my patented secret technique. Oh, perfectly timed somehow, even though I couldn't see it all. I'm proud of myself. I think there's a very real chance of me just plummeting down into Pittsville, USA. No, thanks. Go back. 
What? How did he kill me? He's literally dead. And he are what? This is just further cements that piranha creepers don't play by the rules. Who? Oh, what spike killed me? I'm sorry. I didn't see a spike there. I don't want to be anywhere near him this time because I know. Oh no. Oh no. Oh! I'm on a creeper hunt. And don't think I don't know how to weed them out. Come at me, bro. I'll mess you up. I suck. I know it. I don't need anyone to point it out. Ignore my suckage. Why can't I kill this one enemy? What is going on? World War Three? If there were such a thing, piranha creepers would be the perfect soldier. Just gotta be like ultra extra patient. Things worked out, but I will say that I have embarrassed myself enough for one day. What up, boys? My name is Luigi. I'm uh, right now acting as Drano. This is my Drano cosplay. It's my dream to one day become Drano and unclog somebody's drain. You might be thinking to yourself, that's a weird wish. Well, everybody's got their own goals in life, okay? So don't give me grief about wanting to be Drano. So I wanted to do this level called the XD, you know? little smiley little haha -ha face but um when i see a level called mario rides the bus to work i can't ignore that so how's this level gonna bring the feeling of mario riding the bus to work to life i'm curious there's the bus stop can't forget that that's pretty crucial oh here's the bus okay i'm gonna get on the bus now all right now i'm on the bus heading to work presumably we got things shooting fire and dudes throwing hammers this is just this is just dangerous it's a wonder mario makes it to work safely every day not to mention the wheels of this bus are just giant saw blades which i gotta say is probably not how most buses are the bus is now falling apart another peaceful trip to work completed here's my place of work and it, it what is it called i want to see what it's called it's just called work i like how i can just throw fire at my coworkers with uh no consequences whatsoever that's that's very realistic that is something mario would do at work well Time to get to work, I suppose. Just gotta sit at my desk, you know? Start cracking those numbers. Okay, I was gonna stop, and then I saw Sonic.exe, and now things are different. Alright, I'm about to head out. If you understand what's happening to Luigi, please let me know down in the comments below. And now, ironically enough, I just, just want to be Link in this game about being Mario. Dude, this is so cool. Who would have thought that one of the coolest things to come to Mario Maker would be freaking Link? This is sick, dude. Oh, that's interesting. It's like a secret ability to pick things up because you can, you can move things in a roundabout way. I always forget that I can hurt myself with my own bombs, dude. I wonder if in multiplayer you can hurt your teammates with bombs. That'd be nice. Oh, instead of trying to walk under fire like an imbecile, I could just use my shield like a hero. Of course. It all makes so much sense when you use your brain. They don't call me the best archer in the business for no reason. Watch and learn, pineapple pokey boy. I will dismember you bit by bit. Oh, I just destroyed the Mad Lad with the sword, dude! That'd be exactly what it'd be like if they put the Mad Lad into Smash Brothers. This isn't the most effective way to take him out, but technically I'm safe. And he broke the block I was standing on. Oh, but it's okay, look at the mad skills. Have a bomb, Bowser, you stupid giant idiot. Uh-oh, I killed the guy that was supplying me with supplies. Imagine if you told somebody who had no idea what video games were about that this is Smash Brothers right here. You wouldn't be entirely wrong. This better be the end of the level. It's nowhere in sight, only Goombas. Okay, what if I... That does absolutely nothing. And now I'm in trouble because I can no longer harm him. I have at you in my cloud, Bowser. So the extent of people's creativity so far seems to be give you the link power up, make you fight Bowser. Give me your money, you stupid idiot. What are you doing? Back off, this is a robbery. He made me do it. I love how the sprite just turns sideways completely when you go to do that move. The Legend of Zelda, Link's a weakened. He's a weakened real good. Back, back beast, I don't want to have a bad time. Ugh. I've done it. Now I must blow up its remains. I also think one of the sickest things is kind of like puzzle-oriented levels, which I feel like have a lot of potential, obviously, with the new Zelda style. I felt like they had a lot of potential too when the Super Ball power-up was first a thing, but people didn't really take that all that far. I guess people just got kind of bored with it pretty quickly. So I'm hoping that this will go a little bit farther than that. Do it, internet skeleton boy. Got another dungeon level. Let's see what this one has in store. Awesome. Hey, there we go. We got a nice little puzzle-solving sound. We got Zelda. 
in Mario. This makes for a lot of fun. Level gimmicks. Here's a bomb. I love this tune so much. It's perfect for a little singing freestyle of course please subscribe it helps me to stay all alive being the epic gamer that i am we're gonna do some ninja speed runs okay that's not what you want to see happen on a test drive Oh, I bounced him up with the snowball. I betrayed myself. 25 seconds, man. I don't feel like that's all that bad. I'm sure people have done it way quicker than that, but we'll get there. 65,780 first. That's not very good. Go. And perfect. Nailed it. So the strategy with this mode is just to watch other ninjas, right? Because I can find whoever's going the quickest. And honestly, there's too much going on. If my brain could just take a second and not get confused by all the little men running all over the place. There's ninjas everywhere. I don't know who to look at. I mean, I guess I should be looking at myself, but you know what I mean. My castle came crumbling down upon itself. I literally just got hit by three snowballs in a row. What is this madness? I can only assume that that one is going in his MW2 highlight reel. I love how there's so many people playing. It's almost guaranteed that there's a ninja taking my exact route. Is this like Sonic the Hedgehog where the higher route is faster? Because if that's the case, then I'm doing terribly. Come on with all the snowballs. Dang it, dude. Spike in his big green body touched me. Dude, how are these little ninjas going so fast? No, oh, I was on such a good roll. There's gotta be something there, right? Like I can almost feel something coming together. Am I just a gigantic meme to you, buddy? There we go, now we've got something cooking. We're not the rock, but we've definitely got something to brewing in that oven. You're just the rudest with that. I'm over here living my best life and you're just what, a troll throwing a snowball at me? Why did I think that the big snowball would beat out the little snowball, man? Why would I think that something so logical would make actual sense in Mario Maker? The last time I tried to get the record on something for a speedrun, it didn't go so well, but I'm nothing if not persistent. You see, what threw me off was getting hit in the head by a gigantic snowball from above. That'll mess up your plans. It sucks seeing the ninja that's way in the front and just knowing I'll never be as good as him. Oh, yippee, I beat my personal record, but I'm nowhere near the front of the pack, man. We gotta shave another three seconds off that timer. I'm gonna enjoy this. Oh, look, a little peach snowman. A snow woman. Oh, look at that. That is impressive, actually. Ooh, another combo. I'm with the lead ninja now. No, don't. Okay, maybe yes, actually. Ah, ah, ah! Ow! I probably could have done that faster somehow. We'll figure it out, though. Now that's some improvement. Now we're 37,000th. Well, almost 38,000th, but that's improvement, which is good. Okay, my run has been killed by a giant snowball, man. Who would have thought my new arch enemy would be a snowball? Wow, did you see me just lose all my momentum right there? What a shame. I was a fool to try to be different. I should have followed the ninja squad. Dude, look at that. We are right up there with the lead ninjas. No! The ninjas! You can see the improvement. Just kidding. I still look like a bumbling idiot. No, come on, man. Every time I get on a roll, I land on the freaking snow pokey as if he even has anything to contribute to my life. Am I supposed to land up there and then keep going? What is supposed to happen with me? Probably not that. Oh, I almost did a curse. I was holding down. You can ask my lawyer about it, snowman. Somebody's not going to get picked in Mario tennis or party ever again. Someone please teach me how to speed run. Hey, that was a cute little maneuver. I just cleared the guy straight up. Oh, look at the little minjis. They're happy for me. Ooh, 22,000, man. I'm pretty happy with that one, but I still think I could do better. Oh, big, big green guy. Not the Hulk, but similar. 
heckin' beans, dude. How did I miss? Snowball, what are you doing here? Nobody asked for your opinion, you little snowball. Go on home and shoot yourself in the face. When I first saw that they were gonna be doing speedrun levels, I was a little bit worried because I didn't really know the quality, but this is a damn good level and there's so many different ways you can go about getting a good time. I'm super impressed, to be honest. I don't even really know what I'm going for. I just know I could do better than whatever that was. Improvise, improvise. No, there's too many snowballs to improvise. Once you fall from the top, you are never getting back up there. Oh, it's looking so good, which is making me nervous. Wait, I couldn't decide what I wanted to do. I couldn't decide if I wanted to slide through or go above. Ninji's incoming. 17,000, man. That's not too shabby. I don't even know what I'm really reaching for. I just, I really want to get in that last little bracket of the graph there. Is that 19 seconds? That's like little curb status up in there. We're both green, so why would you do that to me? It's really difficult to not let myself get consumed by trying to get the best time possible. Oh, but then on the other hand, look at that. 10,000, that's pretty freaking good. But I can still do better. Not if that keeps happening, though. What's your problem? You got indigestion or something? I was doing so well, I just panicked. I didn't even know what was going on with my young body. Come on, Luigi, give me strength, buddy. No, flying man. He took my strength away from me. He used it against me, even. Look at all these ninjas bunched together, man. This is the way, the way to victory. Follow the ninjas. Is there a way that the little ones are like just barely sneaking in front of me there? You see that? What am I doing wrong? What should I be doing? Should I be sliding at the very end of the slope or something? It's actually kind of hard to see myself. Oh, I separated from the pack. That was my mistake. Why did I go down? I haven't gone down in quite some time, but that time I decided to just head on down to the price is right and lose the stupid speed run that I was trying to do. I just lose myself amongst all the ninjas sometimes. And once you lose yourself, it's very hard to get reoriented. You might say turning off the ninjas is an option and probably something I should do. And to that I say, why must you always be right? Okay, I'm the green one. Just look out for the green one. That's all we got to do. No! I was a fool to think I could reach the height of the snowman. Dude, what was that? What was that huge momentum stop? I didn't ground pound, that's whack. I was doing so well. You're a buffoongus, dude. I hate it. It meaning you and your whole family. That's not even my personal best. Are you serious? I had really good feelings about that one. Look, all I want to know is if it's faster to run or slide down the slope. I don't know which one it is. Why did I spin? There's no spin right there. The spin comes after you bounce on the snowman. How many times do I have to say that to myself? Six? Something went wrong. Something was going really well and then things took a turn for the worst. Okay, it's going really super well. No, I, ha, huh, I thought I had to spin, but I was actually so far ahead that I didn't even need to spin. Don't ever say things are going well. Oh, these ninjas, these ninjas create stressful environments and then I start to mess up. And then I touch snowman and I die. I'm still not sure about sliding versus running. I think it's faster if you like run and then slide just at the end of it. I talked too much and I got confused about my route. I don't have an excuse. I didn't hold jump. I'm sorry. Look at this. Look at this fresh speed, though. I've got new energy, and I lost all that energy and my will to live. You. Moment of truth! Okay, okay, now what? What is the strategy right here? I don't know. I don't know how to optimize that last slope. Should I be trying to jump over him, or should I just accept it and run forward? Oh, go lick a pile of steaming grapes. Dang. Worst part about speedrunning is when you can't replicate your best time. Not even you can't beat your best time. Like, that's fine. Eventually, you're going to plateau, you know, and reach the best that you can reach. But if you can't even match your best time, then you got another problem on your hands there. Now, that is a new best time, baby. But I really want it to say less than 20 seconds. I want it to say 19. 
15 something. So I gotta be quicker than that. Oh, dude, that little bit of time put me up 4,000 people? Christ, that's awesome. Look, I'm totally not getting obsessed with this or anything. That's not what's happening. It hasn't been like an hour already. I told you that wouldn't happen to me. I'm better than that. I always just start gradually falling behind and I have no idea why. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I died so close in front of the goal. Just do it then. Hit me with all your balls. I can take them. Okay. I'm fine. Mental breakdown avoided. Come on, these ninjas taunt me. I really thought that was gonna be sub 20. Go, Luigi, go. Put the afterburners on. Show them why you're number one, dog. We can do this. Spiky snowmen can go eat churros for all I care. I had to get up and take the biggest stretch of my entire life. That's how real this is right now. It all starts out okay. I begin at the beginning line of all the ninjas, but then as soon as we get a little bit into the level, I'm falling behind, dude. It's like second grade all over again. I blame that ninja in particular for all of my failures thus far. Don't know why, don't ask. Oh, I touched his feet. You never want to touch his feet. It's against the internet rules. That was pretty cool, but it threw me off. It threw off my whiz, and now I'm going to lose. I've lost. Global warming is a real and present danger. Low battery, but I'm in the middle of a speed run. You know what's not speedy? Going to go get freaking battery chargers. It's really amusing when you see a ninja fail in exactly the way you've failed before. You can just instantly know the man's pain. I charted my own path and I was doing well and I panicked. I'm not even at the disco, dude. What do you want from me? How can I be better, Nintendo? I'm trying, Father Sakurai. That's right, I'm going against the flow of the ninjas. Nothing can... Damn it. New data suggests that I blew it. Hey, you want to keep it close to the ground? Not that close, Luigi. A little bit higher than that, pal. I was to the front of the pack and I freaking choked, man. Ah, oh, what a blessing life is. You know what they say, if it's not fun, what's the point? But uh, I can think of one good point being the best there ever freaking was. I thought I could sneak under. Why am I even bothering trying to sneak under? I don't even know if that's quicker. It's just a hunch I have in my gamer body. Let the power flow through you. The power within. The power with... Oh, I died. The power without. Oh, oh, Subarashi. Oh, 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 yeah. There it is. Fantastico! I've gotten sub 20. I'm running with the ninja best now. That ought to do something for me, right? Oh, 2,000, dude! But it's not number one, so is it really good enough? Because, as a wise, fictitious man once said, if you ain't first, you last. Look, I don't think it's getting any better than that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be happy with where I've landed. I'm in that very last chunk. 2,283rd isn't too shabby, so I'll take it and move on. Uh-huh. I feel it. Now we're kicking up into overdrive. See, it's moments like these where I have to say thank you to whoever made this level because now I don't even have to try to put in a JoJo's reference. It's actually just already there for me. Hello, everybody, and welcome. Today, I've decided to go against the world. And by the world, I mean the most popular courses. That sounds like a fun little series to start. Let's see what the world can offer us. So right now, we are finding the error in the picture, seeing what is different, and my gamer brain says it's this middle one. There we go. Mission complete. So I seldom travel outside of the competitive and cooperative Mario Maker worlds, but here I am today taking on the world's most popular levels, and I'm doing so as Toad, because, I don't know, I like Toad. And right now we are finding out what is different. Can you spot the difference? My gamer brain is informing me that it's this green mushroom platform right here. And look at that. I was right. This reminds me of a stage I played once long ago, where I didn't quite get the point, if we're uh, being completely honest. Oh, there's a little cloud right there. Uh-oh. Oh, it's okay, though, because I had the helmet. It's a safety net. I guess I was looking at the spring. All right, all right, all right, all right. We got to figure it out what exactly is different here. We got three coins on each, a muncher, a cloud boy. Oh, oh. No, I thought I had something, but I did not. I'm struggling to find the answer. They each have a yellow block, an ice block, a cloud boy, a muncher. Oh, 
that muncher doesn't have a block behind it. Do you see that? Could that be it? All right, I'm going with that. Hopefully uh, my gut is correct. Oh, thank goodness. My gut had it right all along, and now I get a beautiful one-up. My, oh my, there's a lot of things going on. A lot of code to decipher, but don't worry, my brain can crack the code. The secret on this one is that when the flames go away, this one has a coin. That's gotta be it. I'm 100% certain. Yeah, buddy! Man, this is a great level. This is beautifully designed. It's good to take a walk on the brighter side of the Mario Maker life every now and again. See what we're missing out here. There are some really creative levels out there. You just gotta go looking in the right spots. This is tricky. This is a bit tricky for me. I believe I can do it. And if having an anime profile picture has proven anything to me, it's that despite my degeneracy, I can do anything. Yikes, but maybe not this. I seriously don't know what is different. They look identical. Oh, this one has a little cloud in it. I hope that's what I'm supposed to be looking at. That's what I'm going with. What say you, Spikes? Nope, nope, it was, it was the wrong choice. Okay, there goes our get out of jail free card. We're gonna have to be really careful from now on on. Oh god, it's the final test. I don't want to mess it up here. Is it the order of the shrooms, maybe? No, they all have the same order of shroomage. Hold on just a moment. Watching the mushrooms turns out to be my saving grace. You see there's a little coin right there instead of a donut platform? Final answer, Bob. I mean, Alex, whoever's listening. Did I do it? Did I pass? Oh boy, the tension. Yeah, maybe I passed. All right, I did it. Just another day, another dollar for good old Toad. Handling things as they come. You know, he's a realist. The squats and the jumps are being taught to me. You can lead a Toad to water and you can teach him new tricks. That doesn't mean he's not gonna fail immediately, but he can learn the tricks eventually. Just stay with him on this one. Oh no. Oh wait, okay, there's a little gap. I have a chance to escape here. Ugh! Okay, I got to move just- ah! <laughs> I got to move just a little bit! Oh, this is kind of scary. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, I'm almost free. Just stay with me here. There we go. I escaped a cruel ghostly death. It's so refreshing to have levels that are actually levels, like not just random garbage. You get the one every now and again when you play multiplayer Mario Maker, but for the most part, it's just random bull crap put together. But here we actually get theming, teaching, and proper pacing, and it just feels, mm, potcha face oh so good. I'm not really sure what this level's all about. Something to do with the music, I think. Maybe there's like a secret I'm missing, but to me, I gotta be honest with you, it just feels like random noises are going off. I just want one person to explain to me what's happening here. That's all I want. Just one person down in the comments. That's it. Time to be a heart virus. Ugh, is that the spine? That's disgusting. I don't know why, I just tried to shoot fire at fire, but I'll do it again if I have to. Tell me the Super Mario Bros. 3 sprite of Toad isn't chunky as hell, dude. He's a thick boy. Gotta say, creative level idea. Really like the body shape, it's kind of disgusting. But having this stupid, annoying sound filter on, not doing yourself any favors, my guy. Use the power on the Goombas to defeat them all and clear the body and make it good and clean and healthy. Ouch, my forehead. Only one more portion of the body to cleanse because as we all know, when you get sick, it's the arms and legs that really take a hit, right? Gotta get rid of the munchers, the munchers of the heart. Everybody knows that's one of the worst viruses you can have. Okay, we got a heartbeat. This is a good sign. That means the patient is alive and we've done a good job as a doctor. Dr. Toad, everybody. On the case, saving lives, on the daily. My brain is starting to perceive things differently. I've activated the Sharingan. I can see what I now am supposed to do. I am dead. How could I have missed a second time? I thought I was ready, but I wasn't even Freddy. There we go, baby, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, now I'm dead again because I thought I was aiming for the claw, but there's a muncher in the claw. Gary, it's a muncher in the claw. Now we are handling things properly. I've been properly impaled. LeBron, Kobe, both my basketball players that I know by name, Cannon or Ghost, which one killed me? We'll never know. Guide me, ancestors. Give me strength. Oh no, I was on such a roll. Ooh wee, Rick, I failed. I know we all know that the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell, but did you know that I am dead? What I actually was gonna say was I don't really wanna spend too much time on one level, but like, 
Come on, this is repetition at its finest, and if I just repeat it enough, eventually I'll know what's coming and I'll respond correctly. If Toad really was alive, if Toad was a real character, we'd know that he's probably one of the most optimistic guys out there, so I'm not gonna let the multiple defeats stop me. I'm gonna personify Toad. I'm gonna put my feet in his shoes, which means I now must go commit Sudoku. What is that, a Palutena Nair, man? Come on. So easy a baby could do it. Better than me, because I suck. The moment I even think about calling something easy, God just intervenes and decides, you are wrong. And remember back in third grade when you tripped and fell and cried in front of everybody? Yeah, that was me too, bud. You're welcome for that. And I'm just like, why, God? What did I ever do to you, brother? They say that humans are constructed in God's image, but like... Why would God make a baby, dude? Okay, okay, what I, what I mean by that is... You'll never know what I mean, because I'm just dying over and over. Okay, what I meant to say was, what is God's image? Is it that image of a baby? The image of a <laughs> Hold on, hold on! Don't call the FBI on me just yet. So is God's image the image of a baby, or of a man, or what? We all look so different is the point, and we change across our lives. So does God change too, or has God always been a baby? This level's accidentally Halloween-themed in my opinion, and I'm not gonna explain it any further than that. Next clip. I had to land on the stupid stump, the idiotic stump, the stump of enlightenment. Which is it? You decide down in the comments below. These coins are placed quite masterfully. Sorry, my butt clenched just a little bit. Okay, now that the bee cheeks have separated, I can truly accept my death. Hey, this video ain't titled Toad vs. the World for nothing, man. Toad will fight the world. He'll go down swinging with his last breath. He don't care. Oh yeah, that's what I'm speaking of. Nice try. You almost got me. Buzzy Beetle time. Double Buzzy Beetle. Triple Baby Hunt. Help. I've fallen and I can't get up. Off the Koopa. Off the Buzzy Beetle. Jump on the Pumpkin Man. Cannonball time. There's my new game show right there. At this point, it'd be a shame if I gave up because I've gotten a checkpoint. What kind of quitter gives up after they got a checkpoint? Me. I'm the type of quitter to do that, by the way. Killed by my own platform. You think you know a guy. I want to give up so badly. I want to walk away from this level with my sanity intact, please. Oh no. So if you took a heart surgeon and a Mario Maker player, and you had them switch positions for about an hour, who do you think would kill someone first? Eat my dust, pumpkin man. I've got a sick vest on. Nani? You get one of those. You get one of those, Buzzy Beetle. Big jumps, big jumps! I went where the coin is! You were a liar, Shell! You weren't there when I needed you! Just like my father. All right, I figured out why I'm dying so much. It's because I'm bad. An excellent teacher. Failure is. Couldn't agree more, Yoda voice in my head. But, 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 I've done it. Whoa. That was the sound of my heart dropping straight into my b-hole, dude. I literally would have lost my garbage had I missed that jump right there. What? There we go. I have literally zero seconds. I've done it with no time to spare. Oh dear god, oh dear god, oh dear god, no, please don't let it end like this. Honestly, these big ghosts really aren't all that quick. Oh dear god, they're quick! I shouldn't have said things about their speed! They want to prove me wrong, and I don't want them to do so! I missed the level! Oh wait, I'm safe. I had accepted my own death, but here I am, in Victoryville, population blue toad. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go change my undies. This is what happens when you spend even more than one second on the internet. The internet drove me to this. There he is! I saw him! The skeleton! The funny internet skeleton. Now the video's complete, it's got a JoJo's reference and an Undertale Sans reference. What more can you ask for? Nintendo, why? Ugh.
What do you think of my Lego Boba Fett impression? Let me know down in the comments. I thought it was pretty stellar. Here we go, we're gonna do a challenge. We are probably going to regret it. Mario embarks on a journey. As if I'd go on a journey such as this as Mario, you know I'm all on that Toadette train. Can I just really say right now while I'm here, I don't like upside down levels. Not only is it confusing with ups and downs, obviously, it also kind of mixes up my left and rights. Mix that in with being Link and having very specific inputs for what you have to do as Link and you got yourself a recipe for failure. Like I'm really trying to pull out a bomb and I keep accidentally dashing. Okay, we just need to take our time. We're not really under a time constraint. We have a lot of time. These guys are literally like fish in a barrel right now. Easy pickings for an archer of my caliber. Did I seriously make it this far just to get stuck here? I'm not about that life, man, and I'm not about to suffer through it. I don't have enough lives. Oh, dang it. I managed to kick the one thing I absolutely need in order to progress. Huh. Well, this is something. Was there a secret magical way I was supposed to not be crushed right there? I'd say the hardest challenge we have ahead of us is the fact that we don't know what's an actual level and what's a troll level, evidenced by this. Man, this is really not going well. This is gonna end in one of two ways. That's one of them. And that is the other. I'm just trying to address the safest way to get by here without getting buzzsawed in the booty. Just run, huh? I'll trust it and just go to the right. Wow, man, I can't even trust the title of a level these days. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus! That was so stressful. This Toadette is running. Look at her, she's moving, dude. She's putting all she's got into it. Go! Oh, I'm running out of time. I didn't even realize that that was a factor. Now I'm in a very bad situation because I'm at once out of time and dead at the same time because there's a wall there. All right, in all honesty, this may be the first level on this run that I complete. And hey, it's gotta start somewhere. Oh my God, I've got to run really fast now. The thwomp is right behind me and now I am dead. I really don't wanna give up on this level. It's actually a little bit fun. There's actually, you know, a stage here rather than just a troll level. Don't stop for anything now, Toadette. You've got the eyes, you put them on the prize, you go and get it, you take your victory. Missed it by that much. We gotta nail these jumps. The coins are there to guide us. One more jump. Another jump! Yes, there you go. Oh, back, 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 back! Okay, with one second to spare, we've done it. All right, that is one down. New high score, one. It only took half of my lives. Okay, the arrows say to just move yourself around the spikes. So I will do exactly that. Gravity is my enemy, however. A problem I have with some of these super expert levels is you really don't know how to do them until you've tried. And once you try and you sacrifice the life, it's just kind of like, uh, like, was this worth it? Okay, I'm gonna limit this stage to two more tries. One more try now. I missed my objective here, which was to throw the shell up, and I jumped up, and he put this little thing here so that if you jump up, it just kind of releases you. So I have to make it back over there. Here's my big move. Just gotta get as much room as possible. Wow, I'm incredible. The gaming skill. Everything went wrong as soon as I let my arrogance shine through. So you're telling me you want me to bounce on the fish? Or kick it up before I hit the fish? Is that what I'm supposed to be doing? What is the fish there for? What purpose does he serve? All right, I guess that's the purpose he serves. And yes, that was the last jump I had to do. Awesome. Tough but fair level. Just how I like my punishments. New high score of two levels beat and that puts me in the top 20K. Shit really is difficult, isn't it? Speed run levels always give me major amounts of anxiety. That looks like spikes. That looks like spikes over there. Fine, I'm running out of time anyway. Oh, and I got pranked. The heaviest of pranks I've ever seen. How was I supposed to know that was gonna happen? Fine, here we go. Last try on the desert speed run. I'm not happy about how that went, but I'm willing to try it again. Damn it. I love you too. Please be a nice level. If I get these one-ups and then lose the level, do I still get to win or will I just lose them all? You know what? No, I'm not taking the L on this one. I'll just hit the old skip a -rooney before I lose. No! Skip button comes in handy, let me tell you. I want, I want to get in the shell. Get in the shell. I don't want to kick it. I want to be in the shell. Is there no way I can get in the shell there? Okay, well, 
There it goes. Well, I don't think I have a choice but to skip the level at this point. I kind of broke it. I wasn't clear on exactly my objective. So, my bad. Yeah, but dab a piranha. Hey, nobody said anything about really big cheap cheeps. Everybody knows that that's my nightmare. If you're gonna throw me in a level, you best be warning me about your big fish. Didn't realize I'd be so scared of wrenches when I woke up this morning, but here I am. All right, Buster. I didn't realize you could Kobe them at such an angle. I guess it's my fault. I should have been killing them as I went. I've now learned the error of my ways and I will be exterminating this species. They'll try to tell you it's the wrong thing to do, but don't let them convince you. The moles deserved it. That is literally the first power-up I've seen this entire time. That's crazy. Look, I got a lot of time on my hands right here, so I don't mind taking out a few of you fishy bastards with me on the way down. Yabba dabba piranha, am I right? Great! This is great fun right here. This is really good. I'm gonna be happy when I get hit completely randomly. Ah! Sorry, didn't mean to let out a scream like that. I'm just very uh, nervous. No! Nice try, bitch. You did your best but it wasn't good enough. Got one chance. Can't miss my shot. No! I... Mm, that's enough of that level, dude. You'll have to excuse me. I'm just going slow to be as cautious as possible. I don't want to die right now. Wow! Sure, I'm glad that that didn't kill me. That would have been a sad day in the hood. I must block the mean, angry thwomp man off. I won't let him touch me. The run must live. I'm sensing the level wants me to damage boost through these spikes, and I will do so. Can't believe I made it out of there with my mush intact. Well, I can't imagine a worse way for it to end other than that, dude. I went exactly where the piranha creeper was going. One might say it's my own dang fault. I think I'm gonna skip this level based off of principle alone. I can't see what's below me, so that's gonna earn you a fat skip. Yeah, this is not obnoxious at all, man. Good level design if ever there were some. I can't even skip out because I'm not touching the ground. Are you serious? It's not my fault. There's no ground to touch. It's so annoying. It's so, so annoying, and it's gonna get me killed. It's just a matter of time. I know it. God damn it. Guess I won't be doing this level. Look, you're gonna see a lot of skips. If you came into this video expecting something else, I don't know what to tell you. Otherwise, you fail a couple times on a level, and before you know it, your lives are gone. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nice try. Uh, I'm hopping from platform to platform over here. I'm not quite sure where I'm supposed to be at any one given time, but I'm trying to be where I'm meant to be. I'm kind of handling this a little bit like a pro. I'm a little bit proud of myself here. And now I'm a little bit embarrassed. That was an embarrassment skip. Look, I'm nine lives in and I haven't beat one level. I might as well just start over. I don't even know what my goal is, but I can promise you that if I'm 10 lives deep and I haven't beat one level, that's a start over, free. If you just kind of wait for the right timing, you can you can get what you want to get done, done. It's, it's really that simple. Shit, shit, ha! Huh. Never call something simple. Keep the humility intact. 12 seconds later. 30 lives is not enough. It's way too hard. Good space levels. Totally, totally acceptable. Not at all frustrating. Not only was it a space level, but now it's an auto-scrolling level. How fun. And by fun, I mean freaking terrible, man. Auto-scroller with traps like that? Get out of here. You know, the further I go into this challenge, the more I'm realizing that these are just bad levels, not hard levels. Literally, what the shit was that? How was I supposed to know to do a small spin jump right there? If you're gonna make a level and you're gonna make it hard, that's fine. I don't mind that, but there needs to be some sort of forgiveness, some margin for error. You can't expect me to do 30 perfect deadly jumps. Eventually, of course I'm gonna mess up. Yeah, I highly doubt it, but we'll see. I think by very cool and awesome, it actually went very shit and stupid. <laughs> I'm not holding back today, man. These levels are ass. <laughs> the scream that Toadette lets out is the best thing on planet Earth. Good God, these levels are dumb. Let me know how far you can get in this mode in the comments down below. Look at all these precise ass jumps. This is so dumb. I hate it. Ah! No, that's so stupid. I did everything right, Karen. Why'd you take the kids from me anyway? Yeah. <laughs> that's Django Fett, like father, like son. It's all lies. With my Sharingan, I can see through it. What about this looks like classic or easy platforming? 
You know, at the beginning of this, my goal was to not skip all that many levels. That has uh, since changed. You know what? This is what I think about this stupid box. There, now the level has to be skipped. I think I'm just shooting for five at this point. That's like all I want. Five would be nice. Eat some of this, Bowser, you stupid scumbag. Sorry, all my anger came out at Bowser right there. I want to win. And for that, I must not touch a single star at all. Because if I touch a star, I'm likely to lose. I am having fun playing Mario. Several song-filled hours later. I am going insane. I will be honest. This challenge is to Uta of for me because I suck big. I'm not very good at playing games. I put on a tough act, act, but when it comes down to it, I am only average at best. Got it. It wouldn't be so nerve wracking if my bulbous head wasn't so bulbous. It's pretty big, my head. Or is it a hat? You decide. I don't know what I believe. It's different in different forms of media. Uh, uh. Holy God, I almost died. Nerve-wracking! This is kinda scary. I'm pretty deep now. I'd hate to fail this far into the level. But most of all, I just want to get a new record on this dumb chat at Ellen. Oh, thank God, the level is over. That was actually pretty fun. I approve of that level. That was a good one. Finally! It only took an hour, but a good level was found. There's literally no penalty for skipping, so I'm just gonna keep on keeping on until I find a level that I'm comfortable with. I'm not even sorry about it. This time, it's gaming personal, man. Gaming serious, even. Oh, yeah. Bouncing on the jiggly ant, man. My ride has betrayed me. Uh, I'll take neither, please. Everything makes me nervous, man. If you see me running away from everything, it's because this mode is like one huge anxiety attack, and I have no choice but to experience it. Okay, we've tied our high score, and we have plenty of lives. We should be able to get a third one here. Troll level, he admitted it! How am I supposed to reach the flagpole and all this nonsense? If I can't reach it at ground level, perhaps I can reach it through the heavens. Damn it, so close. Yes, dude! New record and one-ups! Let's freaking go! 9,000? Beating three courses puts me in the top 10,000? Are you shitting my butt right now? That's crazy! No, that's what I'm trying to avoid, dog. Video games are just a series of ones and zeros. Video games are just a series of ones and zeros. Literally everything matters so much more in this stupid game mode, dude, and I don't like it at all. I like Mario Maker more when it doesn't matter. Oh, that's fire. That's so much fire. There we go. This time we've noticed the flamethrowers and didn't put ourselves right into it. And hey, look at that. Another level down. Let's go. I wonder how much that's going to put us up in the rankings. A 4,000 person jump. That's obnoxious. <laughs> Hell no. As you may have noticed, I've slowly but steadily been losing lives. I'm really trying to be picky about what levels I do and don't play, but it's kind of hard to tell which ones are good and which ones aren't. I'm at four. I wanted to get to five but I'm pretty happy with where I am, so I might just cut the run a little short for now and continue it later on. Yeah, I think I'm gonna cut my losses right there. That is literally the biggest mood of all time. Tough level. Last time it was Toad who took on the world. Now this time it's Mario who takes on the P. Mario karting? More like Mario vibing. <laughs> all right, here I go. Wrong way, now here I go for real. I feel like people be sleeping on Mario, you know? I gotta give him a time to shine. And of course, by time to shine, I mean 
time to crash into literally everything, dude. My Mario Kart skills are subpar at best. So this is an auto Mario level. I'm not too big of a fan, but I'm on the hot course list this time, not the popular ones. There's a difference. Heck if I know what it is, but Nintendo says it's there, so I trust them. I mean, I'm telling you, dude, I really just don't get the appeal of these levels. The whole point of buying a video game is so that you can play it. From the high ropes, it's Mario. Don't talk to me or my red plumbery son ever again. Now I'm a freaking cat. I'm gonna climb all over the walls just like a cat would do because I'm a kitty cat. Move out of my way. I'm trying to get into the door here. I don't wanna go down there. I'm gonna climb up here. I'm a cat. I've got the power. And look at that. The course end is right there. Why would I go in that pipe? It's just a complete waste of my time. Are you kidding me right now, dude? That's the whole level? How did this end up in the hot course section? What about that was so lit? I really don't get it. It's not like these are just the new random ones. This is its own category because new is a category. And why do I exist? I don't wanna die. I just wanna get rich fast. So basically I'm every American that's ever existed. Ah, and I was ejected, dude. I was ejected from the path of success. I hope I don't need every single coin, because there's no way I'm gonna be able to get those ones that are inside the sideways springs. I actually want no part of them, please. I just am an innocent Italian boy trying to make a living. The hot category. The more I play this section of Mario Maker, the more confused I am about its inclusion. There seems to be no sort of theming. It just kind of is whatever levels happen to exist within. It's got me very confused. Well, I didn't get all the coins. I hope it doesn't matter. Bad news, fellas. It mattered. Behold, as Mario commits trigonometry. He was a brave man. Oh, 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 the poison! Didn't see the poison lake horizon there. How many times will it take me to reach this jump? All right, okay, looks like we got somewhat of a level here. Some moving platforms, some buzz saws. Nothing too out of the ordinary for Mario. I'm waiting for the twist. The like crazy amount of obstacles that are almost impossible to avoid. And I'll be waiting for a long time because the end of the level is right here. Sometimes things aren't more than meets the eye. Sometimes it's exactly what you see is exactly what you get. One dash question mark. Hey, as long as it's not 1-1, I'm cool. It's the very beginning portion of 1-1 over and over and over again, which in my eyes is the worst part of 1-1. I think I just now realized what I don't like about the car. There's no way to correct your momentum or speed. You're either just holding full forward or it makes you turn around and it's not a very good balance. It doesn't feel like you're driving a real car. Why are so many of these levels just named question mark? It takes a real gamer to get soft locked at the first obstacle of a level. It's as simple as holding down on the gray stick. Only a really big idiot could mess it up. Welcome to my channel, by the way. Now, what purpose did that serve? These levels are sincerely confusing for my brain. I don't understand. If anybody knows what the criteria is for getting into the hot level tab, please let me know. Because I sure as hell don't know what's going on here. I've ended them. Good guy Mario. I really enjoy how the level description for this one is just a single exclamation mark. Very informative. Sometimes it really do be that way. You just gotta make a level where the only thing you have to do is slide under a tiny little piece and you win. Shigeru would be proud. Okay, we got a little otter scroller. It's going very, very slowly. In the same way that a level can be tanked by difficulty being too hard, it can also be tanked by it being too easy. Just because it's an easy level doesn't mean it has to be like completely devoid of life, you know? From up here, I don't even have to worry about the level. It practically just plays itself. Oh no, she's underwater. I gotta save her before she drowns. All oh, the poor mad lads, dude. They got nowhere to go. They're gonna drown for sure. Come and get me. Bet you can't do it. So I mistimed that. Nobody has to talk about it though. Also that level lied to me, Peach was nowhere to be found under that water. It really makes you wonder what the point of building a level is if you're just gonna fill it with absolutely nothing and then ask me to go from one side of it to the other side of it. We find our protagonist Mario in a forest attacking the local wildlife. Nobody knows how to stop the madman. All that's for certain is that this ecosystem will never be the same. Seriously though, they give me a fire flower and I will be taking out the local population of fish. The Koopa Troopers are not safe from him. He will do everything in his power to take them all out. The Cheep Cheep, however, are in the most danger. An ecosystem destroyed and a flag toppled. Typical Mario. Do not tell me what to do. I will drive with all the reckless abandon. 
now that I'm thinking about it, maybe I should have been more careful. On second thought, though, how was I ever supposed to make it across this without ditching the car? Stellar Mario Kart level, by the way. Why are all these levels so bad? They are literally like five seconds apiece and have no sense of structure. I don't understand the hot tab. I could fight the mad lad, or I could ascend to the heavens of Gamerville. Just kidding. There isn't anything up there for me. Everybody's favorite flying rat turtle guy. The flying mad lad, dude. Freaking disgusting looking abomination that should never have existed in this world. Why would you give me Yoshi? This makes it impossible to lose to this guy. Not that it was even remotely difficult before, but given the ability to jump on spikes and it's just a cakewalk. I really didn't know what I was getting myself into when I dove into the hot tab. Let's see how Nintendo themselves constructs a level and see if they can do any better than what's hot and fresh right now, dude. Would you take a look at that? We got some puzzles and some secrets going on. It's almost like it's a real stage. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. What am I doing? Look at that cheeky Nintendo hiding a secret away, just like they do. Classic Shigeru. Very, very clever, Nintendo. But you can't hide your secrets from me, dog. I will achieve a helmet, and I will barrel all up into your body. Oh, but this time I was smart, and I made it to the first piece of the Triforce, man. Could anyone except for a gamer accomplish such a feat? I'm playing a level made by Nintendo, and I'm having a good time. Killing some plants. You know how it be. Sometimes it be that way. Where did that ball come from? <gasps> The ball hole. It reveals itself. Oh, he wants to kill me. He wants it for sure. No, I lost my way to hit this stupid thing. Oh, now the only way out is a swift death chosen by me. Nintendo made me do it to myself. Guess what, Nintendo? I'm not scared to do it to myself. He is sus as hell right now, dude. Oh, jeez, it's the skeleton. It's a bad time. Meme it. Internet it. He tried to make me have a bad time. Someone should arrest him. Come on, come on. Oh, I hate you. I hate you! What's even up there? Better be like a birthday cake, at least. This level's actually pretty long, but I don't mind it because it's pretty fun. It's not just a straight line or a bunch of random obstacles. The challenge isn't too extreme. It's almost like Nintendo knows what they're doing when it comes to making levels. I can't very well be an archer in a shoe now, can I? Nobody's ever heard of the little old archer who was in a shoe. Oh shoot, I'm running out of time. Oh, double shoot. I fell off of the cliff and died. No, that's not how it was supposed to happen. I was supposed to either bounce off of it or crush it with my helmet. I picked option three, lose my shoe and die. See, most people ask, can you beat Bowser with a sword? But Nintendo asks, can you beat Bowser with a sword? And he's got flying wings and bloopers all around him. That's why they make the big bucks. All right, you better back up. I killed your master. Kill you too, stay away, bro. I'm warning you. I'm fucking warning you. I was warning him. Wow, I'm a failure. I'm a fraud of a gamer. I missed one of the secret red coins. How am I gonna look myself in the mirror later tonight? Knowing that Nintendo whooped my ass. Well, that was a really solid level. Nintendo sure does know what they're doing, man, when it comes to making these levels. They have been doing it for a while. No more of that for me, however. Back into the dumpster heap I go. 20 seconds to grab 100 coins and some dash pads to help me do it. I haven't seen enough be done with dash pads yet. It's kind of disappointing. It's a really cool thing. Maybe I misjudged the hot tab. This is a pretty solid stage. I enjoyed that quite a bit. But that's only because I gotta go fast and eat tons of ass. You see, now this is the kind of level I expected to see when dash panels were announced. You can tell whoever made this level thought to himself, I bet I could put a lot of dash panels in a single stage, but I guarantee you he did not stop to think whether or not he should put that many dash panels in a single stage. I will travel through blistering winds and scorching deserts just to achieve key. As Prince Mario, it's my destiny to grab the key and save the princess. Hopefully Wario the Ogre doesn't beat me to it. What now? I wish I could say that only took me a couple tries to do, but I didn't bring you here to lie to you. Just to inform you to stay away from the hot tab in Super Mario Maker 2. At least this person is acknowledging it. I saw all the pieces of it. I just couldn't put it all together in my brain and I trapped myself. Come on, Mario, we gotta run off these pounds. If we don't, we're gonna be a fat boy forever. Okay, okay, I see where it, it could possibly go wrong. 
It went wrong quickly. That was truly mayhem. All right, all right, all right. I got it. I like this level. I like what it's going for. I appreciate it. It's a little bit much on the eyeballs, and it doesn't do any favors to me being a stressed boy, but I can do it! Update. I couldn't do it. It's all just a series of ones and also zeros, which means if somebody could do it, I can do it. Sorry if I sounded far away from the microphone right there. A bug was flying all up in my face. There's nothing wrong with having some spikes in the old tush. Sometimes it could be a little bit pointy, but we all get to that point where we just gotta accept our fate. Hear me out. This is a fun level. It's got a good idea, and I actually like it quite a bit, but I cannot look at it anymore. It's starting to hurt my eyeballs. Is that gonna come back? I mean, seriously? How was I supposed to know that was there? I was just trying to go. Just trying to play the video game that I paid for, and now I'm getting cannoned in the butt. Wow, I can't believe I didn't die right there. Snake blocks in the dark with lots of sharp things, and I'm dead. Calling it quits on that one. I see little Timmy managed to get one of his levels into the hot tab. That's too bad, Nintendo should have known better. Oh yeah. This guy understands. Wow, the Super Mario World Cheap Cheeps look so stupid. I didn't realize they looked so derpy. Well, things took a sharp turn. Keep your magical floating ass away from me, Bowser. If that is your real name. How did that miss? Well, did I just like go ghost and fall through it, dude? That's it. That's the best level title of all time right there. You what? Ladies and gentlemen, I did it. I finally did it. I made my very own Mario Maker level. It's called Mad Props, and it's about the propeller box. I think it's pretty cool, okay? So we start out with the little part about jumping on some bullet bills, and then in front of everybody, I get hit by the first obstacle in my own level. Basically, the whole idea around this level is that you get the three charges and I just kind of wanted to play around with it. I even threw in some secrets, or at least I tried to. They're kind of hard to access, but it's optional, so... <laughs> We've got that going for us. Well, I felt like I should turn comments on, and look at that. There's truly some gold in here. We got green Mario. We got a good old Joker drawing right there, and I'm the Joker baby up there. I'm not smelly. That's not true. So one really cool trick is that you actually don't need him at all. If you time your propellers just right, it's a little pro tip for you. Utilize that. Let's see if I can get the secret. Okay. Stay low, Toad. Yeah, there we go. See, it's just a little secret area. You get a one-up and you're out of here. No muss, no fuss if you can't get it. And I really like that you can see it on your way through so you, like, you know that it's there. So there's a really interesting thing. If you use your jumps and then get caught in here, it resets it. The whole idea, right, is the stuck gang, as that comment so beautifully pointed out. I put some falling ice at the top just so, like, it wasn't too easy. And that's why the coins are there, too. I wanted to guide you, like, hey, go low, you don't want to be too high because of the ice. It definitely requires some patience, but it's not just waiting. Like, you're active. I kind of enjoy that aspect to it. I lack the gamer point required to play good. You and me both, friend. You and me both. So yeah, the whole level is just about timing those propellers and using them to your advantage. No. And you know, sometimes you touch the spikes and you die. That's just part of life. I believe Thomas Edison said that. See, that's not good. You don't want to lose the suit right there because that is definitely death. But on the bright side, it's up to you how you go out. GameStop, power to the players. Since this is the final leg of the challenge, I wanted it to really ramp up in difficulty a little bit right here. I hope I didn't overdo it, but I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. The idea is not to wall jump. That's why the different spikes are here. You're not supposed to be able to wall jump up it. You can, but it's not optimal for the part that comes after. It's kind of just about timing your jumps and landing right when you need to is crucial. And then you just go all the way up. You got Bomb Coon that drops down here, and you just shove him into the wall. And this is why you need the propeller box, so you can just tank that hit, and bada bing, bada boom. And if you really want to get to the top, you can, even though I did not. Oh my god, a power move. It's the legend himself, Choke God Infinity. I remember him. 
Thank you, brother. But yeah, I mean, that's my level. Give it a try and let me know down in the comments what you guys think. And I'll try to improve as I go. I was gonna get this certain sweater. Then I found out you had to do like a thousand levels and endless easy to get it. Instead of that, I've stumbled upon Super Propane World. I hope that's not literal. Let me tell you, my brothers, it does not matter what world I live in, new or old, I can't escape the world 1-1. One, one. Okay, so that's just the, the way he names them. Now I've got a Yoshi. I'm beginning to think that maybe Super Pro Pain World isn't gonna be the most complex set of levels that I've ever come across. But I mean, when you're getting world records, who cares about all of that? I'm just a little bit curious about this level hidden behind the one-up thing. One hit trip. All right, just gonna hit the propane once, you know? Don't wanna get lost in the sauce after all. Wait, what happened? I just wanted to commit vehicular manslaughter on some Goombas. This is my revenge, you Goomba fools, for all the times you've killed me. Oh boy, sometimes I forget just how relaxing this game can be. They can take my world records away, but nobody can take the first clear away. Never forget that, lads. I'm very bad at guessing. I usually pick wrong. I guess yellow. Would you look at that? I guessed wrong. Interesting choice. Green, green, or green. I think, I think I'll go green. Oh, green was a big mistake. Screw the planet, screw the ecosystem. The real guessing game was the mad lad that we killed along the way. Don't try to look over that for any hidden meaning. I just think that murder is the answer to the problem. Larry's Lift Castle. We're just gonna run into like a super jacked Larry at the end of this castle because he's been lifting. I mean, that was literally unavoidable, so nobody can blame me. And I feel like that one was equally unavoidable, or perhaps I suck. Did you ever think of that one? I know you already did. It's Larry, boys. It's Larry and he's been lifting. He's swole as heck. But what you didn't know is that Toad has been lifting since day one, bro and you never stood a chance. Cause the main day that Toad didn't skip was Bulbous Head Day. I'd like to taste that peach. That's right, Toad's little dog. I think we all know that me, a future man named Sasuke, needs to play Rock Leaf World. This could be one of the most exciting arcs in all of Mario Maker. Shouldn't have came at me, bro. All right, that was just the prologue to the arc. Now we're gonna really get into the meaty chunks of this narrative. Did I say meaty chunks of the narrative? Because what I meant was the filler arc. Oh, he pranked me good. Wait a minute, can I just wait down here though and then... My gigantic brain can't even be contained inside of this bulbous head. I'm just gonna assume that that door is superfluous and not go in it because pretty much every door and pipe that I've come across thus far in Super Rock Leaf World has been superfluous. Oh, and would you look at that? It was superfluous. Also double nice. Stop, don't come any closer. I've got a bulbous head and my vest is open and I will be grooving on you if you get up in my personal space. Oh, the gems you can find while it's scrolling through random super worlds. It'll never cease to amuse me. God, get your shimmy on, you beautiful, beautiful bulbous bastard. And I don't care. I don't care about any of this. All I care about is my big money. Although I do care about that fire flower though. Larry, you dipped me into the lava, Larry. How could you? Living like Larry. Dear God, Toad will never be the same after witnessing that. It's been real, Rockleaf. That was a truly interesting arc in the Toad anime. But now, he's got to move on to greener pastures. I definitely would partake in Phoenix Chicken World if it wasn't so gargantuan. The question mark and the fact that this world only housed one world and one level really got me interested. Is it just gonna be some silly level or is it gonna be really difficult? The fact that I have 99 lives for one level makes me think it's the latter. I am a tank. I get it. I don't really feel all that safe despite my super rad mole companion and the fact that I'm in a literal tank. To be fair though, we are absolutely eradicating everything in our path. Oh god, it's Bowser. I do feel pretty invincible on second thought. Not even the mighty Bowser himself stands a chance against my fortress of power. 
Oh no, my companion. There's always gonna be casualties in war. With Bowser ferociously murdered by a tank, Toad emerges victorious as the destroyer of worlds. Oh God, nothing can stop him now. Your boy Jared world. I wonder who made it. Probably your boy Jared. Toad in the clouds, he do be grooving though. I wonder what he do be grooving to this time. Oh geez, I need to go. This is not the best time for comets to be obstructing my field of view. Yeah, you see, that is why I was worried about the comments obstructing my view. It's not that hard, just time the jumps and be successful. No, not like this. I needed the bread of the gamers. So much money, so much money and blades. Okay, listen up, super it's your boy Jared, if that is your real name. This does not please the bulbous head. This actually makes him quite angry, only because I feel like I should have already been able to do this! The lesson to all of you is never give up. Otherwise you can't become Hokage. No, not again. It took me long enough to do the first one. Already saws in my brain, which I'm not a doctor, but I, I don't think you want that. Okay, great. Now I have two sons out there. That's twice the frickin' child support. I'm doomed. Oh, sick. You don't even have to play all those other levels. I'm a little bit curious, though, so I'll try just one of them. I pray that my son is not named Tanner. I'm disappointed in you, Tanner. You know better than that by now. For some reason, I don't believe that. No, my son made a little Timmy level. God, I'm disappointed in all my children. So I'm starting to begin to see why he put the pipe that skips all these levels in. They're not very good. Watch this one just be the one that's really super difficult. I was completely 100% wrong about that statement. Fair enough. Though I feel like that could apply to all the previous levels as well. I'm very, very happy that I found this world, man, I swear. Super worlds really are the gift that just keeps on giving. Isn't that the same name as the other one? My son is a little Timmy connoisseur. All these are little Timmy levels. They're not trapped in here with me. I'm trapped in here with them. These levels are making me be the disappointed dad scowl times a thousand. This is, in truth, a boss battle by definition. Nobody can say that it wasn't. Oh yeah, yo, dude. I'd like to quit, but in all honesty, I'm just in too deep at this point. I'm invested. I must see it through to the end. Whatever it takes. The struggle of society, too. Oh my god, this took a turn for the worst. This is just a stacked enemy little Temi level. Who's letting this man get away with this? Look at this mix-up. You got the two one-up houses just in case you need them. And then pipe to pipe. What is the purpose of this pipe? You literally just warp right there. Toted in the desert. He do be thirsting for some water, though. Oh good, now I get to see how it really started. The struggles of society, man. Trying to bounce on a stack of moles and you fall in between the cracks. That almost hits too close to home. The further I get in, the more disappointed I become. And why are they all little Timmy levels, dude? I birthed a little Timmy. I just noticed they're almost all airship levels too, if not all of them. Some points for consistency, I guess, but I feel like it's wrong to give out any points. Yes, indeed, it is the course, isn't it? Aren't they all? God, man, what are these? Why am I continuing to play all of them? I figured it'd be something like that. That is hard three, you know? I should have spin jumped and I didn't. I pray that the next world be the last. Four more stages to get through and then we're donezo. I'm sorry, five, I can't count. Something about Toad just not looking at the camera is very amusing for me. He's just all like, hey, didn't see you there. Now it's not even about society, now it's about the struggle of a kiss. Good to see we're still on an airship. Some things never change, do they? Oh, you got the classic pipe to pipe. Completely pointless. 100% funny, though. Can't forget about the second struggle. It's almost as important as the first one. And would you look at that? We're on an airship fighting stacks of enemies! If only it were, my son. If only it were. <laughs> oh my god, and it's just an airship level again! This man is truly dedicated to the cause. He needs to be respected for it too. Like, you can't hate on him, man. He knows what kind of level he likes, okay? And in all honesty, 
I think I'm starting to like it too, man. Call it Stockholm Syndrome, call it bias, whatever you want. I'm a little bit into it. And to finish it all off, we have The Struggle 3. Truly a compelling trilogy. And yet again, we have an airship level jam-packed with what seems like random enemies across a really straight line. Never change, son. Never change. What a perfect way to end this series, this world. I went from being intrigued to disappointed to mega disappointed, all the way to somehow, in some twisted way, being a little bit proud of my son's determination. Good job, boy. All right, I know this is gonna be kind of like a cold opening, but in my last video, I reached S plus in competitive. And while I was doing that, I came across this level called the 10 trials, trials one through three. Today I got curious and I wanted to see the other trials, so I came back to this level in my played courses history, and I decided to view the comments. And it just so turns out that I found this beautiful, beautiful gem on the comments of this level. So if you scroll down a bit, you'll see that somebody asked, Hey, how do you unlock the wing cap in Mario 64? I can't find it. More than one year ago. So when this game was pretty much fresh, then the creator's name, Super N64, answered him legitimately. For the wing cap, use the C buttons to aim your camera above the sun carpet. These guys just had a conversation about Super Mario 64 and how to unlock the wing cap. That game is over 20 years old. How does he not know this? And why is he asking in the comments of some random Mario Maker level how to unlock it? Why doesn't he just Google it? Anyway, I have so many questions. None of them are gonna be answered here, but I just felt like I needed to share this with the people because I laughed for a solid 10 and a half minutes at how ridiculous this was. Anyway, all that to say, we're gonna be doing the trials today. The 10 Trials. I already did Trials 1 through 3 in the multiplayer video, but I just want to reintroduce you guys to the beauty that is this stage. Each trial is separated by its own little pipe, and uh, they're not that difficult. They're a little bit easy, actually. But I'm not judging. I mean, it's only Trials 1, 2, and 3 in this level. Maybe the trials will get tougher as we go along. You never know. It could be a natural ramp up in difficulty. Of course, we're not gonna see that with Trial 2 or Trial 3 for that matter. I just love how it's always written out, like, here's Trial 3, get ready. It's just two wall jumps and a jump, and then a couple more wall jumps. How could anybody have completed these truly grueling trials? Then this message at the end says, thanks, stay tuned. He knows you're gonna want more trials. He knows you'll be back. And to be quite honest, he's 100% on the money. I can't wait to see what the rest of the trials have in store. Please make more. Oh my god, I couldn't agree more. It's so good. Now that I'm looking at it, the world record's only 41 seconds. Maybe I could grab that real quick. I don't really know why I find these levels so enjoyable, but I'm just falling in love with them all over again. Don't know if I could have improved my time at all, but I really, really hope that I got the world record. That'd make me very happy. Oh yeah, I got the world record on the first set of trials. Let's go. I'm a master of the trials. The 10 trials part two, slightly harder, but still easy. I'm so excited for this. Okay, a couple of horizontal thwomps, not too bad. What is that supposed to be? Because that looks like the letter A. All right, that was trial four, I guess. Or is this trial four? I'm not quite sure. Trial four, okay, that was just the intro. All right, that's just to prep you for what's coming. Gotcha. Trial four cleared, bring on trial five. I'm more than ready. I love how many pipes he uses. There's just so many pipes. You go into pipes, you come out of pipes like nobody's business. Okay, there we go. It was hard to tell what I was supposed to do because bonsai bills weren't in the intro. He really threw a curveball my way right there. All right, trial six, the final trial for this stage. And it looks like we got some on off switch shenanigans. Okay, that was literally the hardest thing I've done in a hot minute. I'm happy that I was able to survive. Thank you, and stay tuned. There it is. There's the stay tuned. I love it. He knows I want more. These are legitimately so fun to me. I don't know why. Oh, okay, Jeremy YT, what I must assume is Jeremy YouTube. He says it's simple for me. Well, we're not all gods like you, Jeremy. Now, are we? I think I'm gonna have to play the rest of this man's levels. I mean, how could I ignore Run For Your Life 10 seconds and Mario Saves Discord? Before any of that, though, we have the 10 trials, trials seven through nine. Three more trials. 
Bring it on. Okay, trial seven. He didn't say trial, but this number seven is there, so I'm assuming this is trial seven. Couple of P-switch jumps. Nothing too crazy, should be able to handle it. We are an S plus gamer after all. Okay, it looks like trial eight demands a jump on the P-switch and then a spin jump. I can do that, I've done harder than this before. Let's go. Ooh, two thwomp bounces. Almost didn't see that one coming. That's the first checkpoint that I've gotten. I appreciate him putting a checkpoint into his level. The trials are evolving, man. They're getting better. I just realized that while the P-switch is on, I could get rid of the nine and make it a zero. I didn't know this was trial zero. There we go, I nailed it. I can't wait to see the 10 trial super world that comes out of this. Now that would be an adventure. This is the best way I can describe the trials, man. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. I've come to the horrifying realization that the 10 trials are not yet complete. There's one trial left and no level. I'm gonna have to wait. I'm gonna have to stay tuned for the rest of this man's levels. I gotta see the 10 trials through to the end though, so it's worth it to follow him. Anyway, I'm gonna play the rest of his levels and uh, I'm gonna start with jump and jump. Jumping is key. Good to know. <laughs> All right, I can't forget to jump on this one. Okay, I gotta jump here. Also wanna jump right here too. Jump and jump, man, it's crucial. Never forget, perfect inputs required. Good thing I'm a gaming legend now, isn't it? Oh God, I messed up an input. It wasn't perfect, but I lived. So I think that this whole level is debunked. I don't mean to nitpick because these levels are masterfully crafted, but uh, what part of that level required a perfect input from me? Well, that's just mean. There's something about a level called Run For Your Life in which it also gives you a timer. It's like, you got 10 seconds, sir, you're dead, my guy. Oh my God, I really am running for my life. It's a stack of thwomps, and I didn't know I was supposed to spin jump. I got played. Okay, this time I'm armed with new information. I won't make the same mistake. I'll make a completely new mistake. This time for sure though, hit him with the spin jump, because that's all we gotta do, just gotta spin jump, and then look at that, easy level. I knew I could do it. I ran for my life. Oh my God, it's Casey again, and he's being rude again. Can be better. I'd like to see you do better, Casey. I've always wanted to know how Blue Mario saved Discord. Dude, these thwomps are mad at Discord. They're trying to bring the servers down. This is an accurate representation of what it looks like to fix Discord servers. Guiding moles through a maze. If there ever was a man who could save Discord, it would be the Blue Mario himself, now wouldn't it? I'm not quite sure what this is supposed to mean, Slick B27. This looks very similar to when I saved Discord, actually. For being S+, plus, I really do suck at this video game, don't I? Suck as I may be, I can time my jumps. See, I told you I could do it. I'm a natural born problem solver. Whoa! Why did you do that to me? Do I actually need to even... I guess I didn't have to time the jumps after all. And why am I bothering to get to the top of the flagpole? It doesn't get me anything. Except respect. Casey really comments on almost every one of this guy's levels. And almost every time, what he says is pure gold. I don't think I have any joke to make about this. I'm just gonna read it. Hot sauce. Evil is better, version one. You've convinced me. I still don't know what that level had to do at all with hot sauce or evil being better. And that was just version one. And just like summer following spring, Casey has commented on this level as well. He's described it for what it is. Truly epic. Hot sauce. Heads or tails. Need I say more? That's a good question. Does heads even exist? I don't think so. Eggie says heads can happen though, so I'm gonna have to take his or her word for it. Are you noticing a theming with these stage names? Because I am. Just some simple platforming, nothing too big, nothing too special, and you'll make it to the end eventually. And when you make it to the end, you become the new sauce boss. Weird flex, but okay. <laughs> sauce boss. Joe Mama Soup. Where do you come up with the best level titles of all time, Super N64? If I could just play 700 more levels like this in Endless Easy, that would be just the best scenario, because these are a great time. I don't know what's better, these levels or their comments? Tell me in the soup down below. Eventually, he's gonna run out of ways to use sauce in the title. I have to harness the power of Chef Boyardee and become the new sauce boss. It's my one true destiny. I don't really expect anybody to get this. My humor is on another level. We call it the garbage level. I was wrong. He's continued to find a way to impress me with these titles. What was the twist? Did I miss something? Literally, what was the twist? My love for the cat suit and skip squeaks has costed me this. Boy, do I feel your pain, brother. I'm not here to get you, though I could easily end your life. I wonder what his love of 
skip squeaks and cat suits costed him. Because I don't feel like I paid a heavy price in this level. But hey, maybe I'm just not looking deep enough, you know? Hot garbage. Why has this happened to me? It didn't take us long to get back to the hot sauce timeline, now did it? Classy. Stay evil. What about this was evil? That's just it! How is that evil? This man is playing mental chess with my brain, and he's always eight moves ahead! All good things must come to an end, however, and we found ourselves on the final Super N64 level. The Snowball Jump. And as is customary for these levels, the title has almost nothing to do with what I actually need to do. But frankly, I wouldn't have it any other way at this point. Oh, come on, I already lost the world record for one of the trial levels? What are people watching my world record page just waiting to swoop in at a moment's notice? <laughs>